everybody, Purple for you, just coming at you from my secret location. How are you doing today? Uh, today I wanted to talk about what are you going to do when you get older? What's your plan? What's your vision? And I'm not just talking about retirement. It's when you get way old. Who's going to take care of you? Nursing homes are not places to be. I know they're popular, but they're not places to be when you're very old and can't really advocate for yourself anymore and whatnot. It is a place that is should be of last resort. So train your kids, bring your kids up that they will, with the knowledge, with the hope that they will be taking care of you when you get very old. It is much better. It's much cheaper. Um, the last thing I saw was a few years ago, nursing home costs were like 18000 a month a month, a month, 18000 a month, and that's not including um, food and meds and all of that rigmarole. So it's something that you should probably think about now. What are you going to do? Um, will Medicaid take care of it? Well, only certain nursing homes take Medicaid, and it's something that you should figure out uh, if your kids are getting married and having kids. Be a part of their lives. <laughs> if your kids... Uh, your kids are getting married and buying a house. <laughs> see if they have a it just see if they have an extra guest room in there uh, for long term planning. Do they are they buying a house that's one story, something with steps or something easily uh, it, it, you're easily able to walk up and down the stairs for uh, just little things like that. If you want to have guidance, guide your kids now because you're going to want them to understand and have the tools to take care of you in the long term. And this is, I'm, just, I'm serious. There's not any place that would take care of your parents. I know people that they had to, I, I guess in the UK, they have to sell the home in order to get the, the parent in the care home. They have to sell the family home. That's it. That's the rules. That's the law. So what are you going to do then? Do you have enough money to... Uh, retire and live out retirement? Do you have a spouse that will help you live out retirement? Are you disabled? Is your uh, other uh, significant other, are they they disabled? What's going on? You just kind of have to plan it. And it's a comfort and you have an advantage if you plan now, not, you know, I'm just going to live on the side of the road uh, or I'm, I'm going to go doing things the rest of my life. You know, what happens if you can't? What happens if you break your hip? What happens if you lose your mind <laughs> to Alzheimer's or dementia? You don't want your kids to lose you because they went to the store and when they got home, you had walked out of the house and walked up the street, which happened a few weeks down the street here. A few weeks ago, down the street here, they had someone that was lost for most of the day and everyone was out looking for him and he was found which was great but he looked young enough that if he just was walking down past your house you wouldn't really think anything of it so but he had Alzheimer's he didn't know where he was or where he was going or what he was doing but he just took a walk so so yeah uh, you want somebody to be able to care for you when you get old enough and you know yeah, nursing home's not it. Yeah, don't don't choose nursing home. Uh, if you have the power, if it's within your power, do something else. Uh, have a uh, have a parent, have a parent, have a child or a grandchild, even if uh, the grandchildren are old enough to take you in, or just arrange your affairs so that they can take care of you when you get old. Okay, alrighty then. Okay, hope this finds you well. Take care. Bye.